All right, so it's been a couple days since the uh, the last SSB summoning video. Uh, I've sort of thought it over. I think I'm just gonna uh, pull for another one. Uh, I'm gonna burn a few of these bookmarks. Uh, yeah, so just want to have her triple S imprinted, not worry about it. Um, hopefully, I don't have to go to pity on this one. But um, given my luck, I I feel like I'm gonna end up there. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna go in there. I'm not gonna like go farm bookmarks out of the uh, secret shop. I'm just gonna buy a pack at a time and. Uh, we'll go from there. So let's see how long it takes me to get her this time. Last time it went pretty well. I think I was like halfway to pity. Um, so if I make it to like halfway to pity this time, then there you go. That's one complete uh, SSB. Um, okay. And of course, we all need um, more Rengars. I think. Uh, so I, I have way too many uh, dominials right now. Um, my C Dom is already max imprinted, so like every C Dom, after, every Dom and dominial and C Dom I get after that is just kind of uh, wasteful. Uh, if come on five star, oh. uh, if regular dominial ever gets interesting, then there you go. I'll have a uh, have a pretty good uh, start on that on that whole uh, triple S imprint. Merge project or whatever you want to call it, um, but yeah, I don't foresee that happening. Uh, she's already gotten a few buffs, and I don't know how out of their way they're gonna go to buff a four star. No one really cares about, it. especially because like basically, if they buff uh, regular Dominion, it comes down to like yeah, I really don't know. I mean, you just boost her. Oh, all right, let's see if I get a Rengars. I want at least one because I, I just have to use two bottles. But if I get another one, it'd be cool. Uh, so, right, so I have one now. My It'll boost my Rengars up to three limit broken. I'd like to get one more before the SSB. Um, last summoning session, I didn't get any Rengars, so already this one's just looking a lot better. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm just going to buy this from here. Uh, we'll buy one. So I'll just buy them one at a time because it's always better to have the crystal there than the bookmarks because the crystal is... It can be a, a, a wide number of things. Uh, it can be, you know, stamina, even though I don't really suggest uh, burning crystals for stamina. Uh, it can be, uh, like I said, bookmarks, it can be mystic metals and all that stuff. So, um, just going forward for most of you, just know it's better to keep um, crystals in crystal form. Uh, this is the last Shuri I need to triple S, triple S imprint my uh, Watcher Shuri, so now I have... Uh, Shuri and Watcher Shuri Triple S imprinted, so Shuri's I get after this are gonna be basically worthless. Um, so at that point, I guess uh, the question you want to ask yourself, the question you want to ask yourself, uh, I really do. I need an Adam and Shield. Hopefully that's what this is, but it's not. Uh, the question you want to ask yourself there is, do I prefer using that character as a four star fodder to like make you know five stars or whatever going forward? Or should I use that uh, and then like just sell him for um, transit stones? Uh, and, and obviously that that'll probably differ from account to account. Um, like, do you need more uh, silver transit stones, or you know, would you rather just have uh, the fodder, uh, the ease of like just making another six star? Because you're starting off with a four, you're just burning a four star. Uh, let's do another one. It's weird that they give you um, stigma, even though stigma is not that useful. Um, but yeah, I need an adamant shield for my um, Eaton. Or is it, is it Eaton or Heaton? I think it's Eaton. Uh, for my Eaton. Um, yeah, there's really, like, that's probably the best artifact on him in terms of, like, having him be, like, a, a I don't know, a damage preventer. Because he has the best uh, damage transfer passive. Well, second best, because. Uh, Crozet does like 40, he does like 30, but it's AoE, like everybody gets transferred to him. Uh, so that combined with the uh, Adamant Shield is, is pretty good, but I don't have an extra one. So, like I have one that's maxed, like Limit Broken, and it's on my FCC. Come on, Rengars. <sighs> um, I have one that's on ma maxed on my FCC, just because, like, FCC with the barrier, with the... Let's turn that down. FCC with the barrier and the um, 
the adamant shield is is like a lot of damage mitigation um, to the point where like I don't really get threatened by like like I just kind of go into a lot of uh, what's his name I think uh, well you know if you've seen a lot of the guild war videos I think you should you would be able to you'd notice that um, like Arbiter villagers aren't that big a deal I mean he's always Arbiter villagers are never irrelevant that's that's one of the best things about him but like He's not that big a deal considering how much damage mitigation she has. Uh, these infinity baskets. Uh, I got a Roman back there. Roman looks like um, I, like I would really like to build Roman one day. Um, he just looks really annoying. So we're at eighty something, so we're not down to halfway yet. Um, he looks really annoying. Like if you build him properly, he could really get on someone's nerves. Like if you're playing RTA, he just like keeps stealing turns from people. Um, but he requires a lot of investment, and Molagora is not something we can just kind of throw around on. On he might be good, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, like um, one day if uh, this whole Molagora situation gets uh, fixed, I'd like to build a, uh, a Roman. I hear ML Romans doing pretty well too so Ugh. losing skystone is always a huge uh, a huge hit I feel anyway so we're not down to halfway yet so let's see how this is going okay In terms of four star artifacts, that's really the only one I need. I have way too many copies of every other artifact. I think I have I think I have every other four star artifact um, max limit broken. Um, so a lot of them. I mean, obviously a lot of them. Even like two sets of max two max limit broken ones. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, prophetic candlestick. Curious. I tried using Curious. A lot of people uh, swear by Curious in um, like the Abyss stuff and a lot of other like PVE content. So we're at 68. Hopefully we get her before we hit the halfway mark. Uh, a lot of people swear by Curious and like a lot of PVE content and whatnot. But I've never, I don't know, I've never had the the desire to build her. I mean, she's there and like I have her five star. Well. No, actually, I got rid of that. I think I forget what I did with her. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, like I've never really needed her. Like, there have been points where it's like, ah, oh, man, I better. I think I had to go build Curious, but then like I, I work at it a little more, and then I just beat it without her anyway. So it's like, come on, Ringar. <sighs> what is this? Moonlight Dreamblade. Moonlight Dream Bait, probably another Moonlight Dream Bait would be pretty pretty good. Um, just because you want to have like, given how many evasion characters are out there right now, um, it'd be good to have uh, a little more. Uh, you want to have like a, bun a few of them maxed out. Okay, so we're past the halfway mark now. Um, it's looking like we're going to have to go to Pity for the last SSB. Uh, she'll be worth it, I think. Uh, plus I have like a whole month of being able to like stash resources for uh, for whatever's coming in uh, a little later later down the line um, so you know Zalia let's see all my aethers are now useless too because I have a max limit broken um, guider aether Ugh, looks like we're going down to pity. If we're going down to pity, hopefully I get a one more um Rengar's here somewhere. Forty. Okay, let's see what we got here. That was a bit of a dry spell there for a second. Okay, come on. Nope. I guess she comes out. I was under the impression 
that it'll do that for oh cool another adamant shield so that's cool that's what I needed um, I guess it's like they come out they pop from the right or the left the little one of the little people um, sooner rather than later so if it takes a while it's probably they're not gonna pop out I guess I was on the I used to think it was the other way around so at 40 so let's take a look maybe this one okay so yeah usually I guess they'll come out sooner I, I thought they would come out like the tail end of that animation uh, Kawana Kawana sort of uh, gets jobbed by way of just being fire um, would she be good if she was another element maybe uh, but just being fire you have to be like an exceptional fire unit so you have to be like a Kron or a Lilius or something to, to really be doing anything so we're at 36 from pity Um, there's Lena. Okay. I really wish Lena had like a slightly better kit. Like something, like, I, I wish she was more PvP usable just because, like, oh, look, here's another one. Um, I'm probably just gonna save her for, um, like, if an ML Koana comes out, but seeing as she's a newer four star, she's one of the newest four stars they just, uh, made. Uh, but chances are we're not getting a ML version of her for quite some time because there's a lot of other ones. But who knows? The next rotation after ML uh, Violet will be an old four, an old five star paired with a new four star. So there's always a chance that she could be one of them. Actually, I'm curious as to see who's next. Yeah, I really do wonder. Um, she does bleeds. She does more damage. Skill nullifier. Skill nullifier is getting more and more irritating these days, I think. Attacks the enemy with the flame guardian. Stuns. Spelling two debuffs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, I mean, she's pretty cool. It's just that, like, it's kind of hard in a, such a water heavy game. 30 left. So it's looking like I'm going to make it down to pity. Yeah, what I was saying was, I really like Lena. Um, I mean, Aside from like obvious reasons, right? Um, well, maybe not so obvious. A lot of people don't seem to find her very attractive. Uh, but I, I definitely think she's very attractive. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I mean, I, I would have loved to use her in more than just like, oh, she just kind of farms. Like, she's not very useful in PvP. She doesn't do anything. Um, the idea that you can lower like crit chance requirements so you can focus more on crit damage isn't that big a deal. Especially like CDOM and... Um, what was the other one? Well, I guess now um, Charlotte, like regular Charlotte, um, she doesn't need to crit anymore, so you don't have to build any crit whatsoever and then just focus it all into uh, crit damage. Uh, so we got 18 left. Hopefully, I pull a Rengar's in there somewhere. I'd really rather save those bottles. 16 Alexa This is what uh, this is what you, this is what's called getting baited. It's like the first one came pretty early and the second one you're like, "Oh, maybe I'll get another one." Oh, see, look. So she shoots out like I guess they shoot out like immediately. That's kind of what one of the things that I was wondering about, like I mentioned. Um, I thought it was like it shines for a bit and then they and then they pop out. Uh, but from the looks of it, they just kind of come out immediately. Um, let's see what do we got here. So I guess I'll just do a, an ML summon just because I have it. Let's go to the shop. So we've got about six thousand crystals left. Uh, it's not so bad. Automaton Tower is going to reset plus this week's uh, arena stuff placements. Uh, what is the skill of this one? So I think I'll, I'll probably you know be able to get that number back up. Ooh, let's see if we got a five star. Come on, Tywin. Uh, there's not really a whole lot that I'm looking for. Yeah, so another silk. I think I've gotten like four silks or something like that. I have no idea how many. I've gotten a lot of wanderer silks. Um, yeah, I think uh, like any ML five star is is really good at this point. Like, I have two. Oh, I don't know if that's on if that's in a video, but. Why is Little Queen Charlotte's name so huge? Does she have a bigger chance? No, she has the same chance. That's really weird. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know if I showed this, but this is pretty. It's like complain. It's like you can you can't really complain, but like of course you can complain. So I have. Where are you? So look at this. Ruel of Light is right here, right? Uh, let's go back here. So that's one. And I don't remember when. I... But there's another one here. But here's another one. <laughs> So I, I lost a 5 star to a dupe, which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and now I just need to take her out and, and go on there. So I have a, so I guess I'll just have to burn two of my bottles, um, which is fine. Uh, I went through quite a lot of bookmarks, so that's the only thing that kind of is going to haunt me for a little while is um, making sure I have enough bookmarks for whatever comes next, which I like, I'm missing that, which I mentioned uh, last time is uh, you want to be kind of careful around these parts, but I, I, I feel confident that I'll have enough for whatever's whatever's popping up next. And there's not a whole lot of like units that are coming out that are going to be pretty interesting. Since we've, I mean, we've gotten, I mean, this is like already, you know, we got uh, Celine, Celine. I feel like the next couple are going to be reruns until we hit August, and then maybe we'll get something special. But again, you know, they're always trying to catch you out, so just keep that in mind. I look collect out of things. But yeah, so that's that. Um, hopefully you guys all had good luck on your pulls.